Okay. No, I feel um, I feel a lot of resonance with uh, what Oliver is doing, as far as especially uh, considering the aesthetic as one of the um, one of the priorities when processing anything that you're experiencing, any form of reality. Um, and in that is uh, this idea, of course, of meaning making. Um, uh, this has several directions that it goes in, but as far as um, creating that meaning as far as what exists between an object and you and your subjective experience and then talking about a specific event like Shakespeare Mass or even being in Karakou at a certain time of year and what one is likely to encounter. Because of course, um, my work, I'm thinking of it as more of um, trying to convey a more whole experience of being on the island, seeing parts of boats, um, seeing things that you're likely to pick up, rather than conceiving of Shakespeare Mass in a vacuum. Um, while it is the center, and I, I, I am going to include more um, elements that directly reference it. Uh, in addition to our last meeting, uh, one of the things that came out was considering using uh, QR, QR codes to make more linkages between things for people as far as a more uh, literal connection, maybe one that's you know not text-based. Um, so it might be some of these objects where they lay as far as when they would have been found and so on. Uh, so that people, as they're going through the installation, because hopefully this, is, this will be something that um, you know, will take some time to walk through, uh, can on their devices pick up those QR codes, see some sort of scene, whether it's from Shakespeare Mass or just water, or some, some sort of sense of what it means or what the experience, again, aesthetically would have been like to uh, have been there yourself. Um, so of course, this is more geared towards uh, the audience outside of uh, Karakou. Um, but I would think that the experience would be richer for people inside Karakou because they would have a relationship already with these things. And it's almost like you wouldn't need to give the explanation or like the video um, evidence <laughs> of what the context is. And be like, yeah, this, this might actually be part of a boat that I know I recognize the color of the paint or, you know, <laughs> um, a little bit deeper uh, experience, um, as it were. I had come across um, some of the things I wrote for the exhibit I had last year uh, concerning all of these things as far as, um, you know, you observe something and, and you subjectively process it and form a relationship with it. And so there's really no objective objects at all. They're all just um, prompts for your subjectivity to create something around it. And I like the idea, uh, especially as we've talked about Shakespeare Mass in different ways, that you don't have to have um, a master's in Shakespeare or Shakespeare Mass in order to fully understand and appreciate. Everyone can appreciate it on their own uh, levels and whatever, whatever, whatever they've brought as far as their own experiences and history and so on. Um, and so it doesn't, it doesn't appear as a one thing. Shakespeare Mass as an event is a layered thing that gets filtered through all of our subjectivities.